Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are gonna discuss very important questions of mathematical physics for your upcoming gate exam. So all these are the important concept-based questions which we are gonna consider today. I will keep on telling you about the steps you need to take, how you can solve all these questions, and in very less time, we will we will try to consider the discussion about all these questions. So let's start the discussion about our first question which we are going to consider in this session today. Keep on watching this video till the end so that you will be able to prepare all the different different concepts which are involved in these questions easily. So let's start the discussion now with this first question. This question has been asked in the GATE 2020 exam. The question is which one of the following is a solution of d2u over dx square is equal to k square u. So mainly we will focus on the concept part right now so that even if any new question is there in the exam or if you are just going to solve any question for the first time, you should be able to relate different concepts with it and you should be able to get the final answer for that question easily. So like here they are saying which one of the following is a solution of this okay differential equation for real k or k real in that case simply either you can use the properties of differential equations the particular type of differential equation you can relate with this given expression and then you can write the answer or the another thing will be that you can directly put the options in this given equation and you can see that which option will satisfy the right hand side and the left hand side both the sides of the expression given to you and that will be your final answer. So these are the two different ways of solving any such type of question. When you will solve it you should get your option A to be correct but don't just consider it correct because I have told you. Just try to solve it by taking the steps and finalize your answer. Let's talk about the second question which is from the matrix topic. Second question is again it has been asked in the gate 2020 exam. The question is a real invertible 3 by 3 matrix M has eigenvalues lambda i. So for this matrix M the eigenvalues we are denoting with lambda i where i can be 1, 2, 3. So that means lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3 and the corresponding eigenvectors are ei respectively that means e1 e2 and e3 respectively for lambda 1 and lambda 2 and lambda 3 you will have which one of the following is correct that's what we need to find so if m is a matrix e is the eigenvector when you are going to consider this thing okay and they have given in the question that the eigenvalue of the matrix m are like going to be lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 so here you need to know one thing that in whatever manner you will make the changes in this matrix form in the same way the changes will take place in the eigenvalues form. So if it is only, only M matrix, its eigenvalues will be only lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. So this equation or this statement can't be correct. But if I'm going to talk about the second one that is M inverse is there, then if you are going to write it as M inverse, then the eigenvalues will even get changed in the same way. Lambda 1 inverse, that means 1 upon lambda 1. 1 upon lambda 2 and 1 upon lambda 3 and here you are going to learn a common concept that is in whatever manner you will make the changes in the matrix form in the same way the changes will take place in the eigenvalues of that particular matrix so option b is correct here similarly option c and d are not going to satisfy this condition and they are not correct done next uh, question number 3 is from the contour integration part and has been asked in the gate 2020 exam. So the question is for a complex variable z add the contour c such that mod z is equal to 1. What is this contour equation is representing? It is representing a circle having the center at the origin because you can write it in a form that is mod z minus 0 is equal to 1. So its center is at the origin and radius is 1 unit taken in the counterclockwise direction counterclockwise means anti-clockwise direction okay then this is the like integration question which has been given to you for this particular contour here what is the pole existing for this case that will be z is equal to 0 when z is equal to 0 is a pole what will be the residue the residue you can consider it as a coefficient of 1 upon t where t will be z minus pole that means z minus 0 
so the coefficient of 1 upon z or 1 upon t in this case because z and t are equal will be minus 2 okay and that is the residue so by using this expression you can say it's gonna be more easy but if you will just take the lcm you will start proceeding for the simplification part it may become complicated so what you need to do minus 2 is the residue you are getting just multiply the residue with the 2 pi iota but in this question this part is also present so you will write 1 upon 2 pi iota from there minus 2 will be the right answer that's how you are gonna get it clear now next one the product of the eigenvalues of this matrix is if you are gonna check the determinant of this matrix it will be minus 1 when the determinant of this matrix is minus 1 in that case we know that the determinant is equal to the product of eigenvalues we can directly answer it that option a will be correct if you are going to talk about the next question that is which one of the following matrices does not represent a proper rotation in a plane for any matrix to be rotational matrix you just need to know one thing what is that that particular matrix should be orthogonal matrix as well so you just need to check the condition that is a into a transpose or the given matrix into its transpose should be equal to 1 the proper uh, like or you can say the condition for the orthogonal matrix whatever matrix will satisfy that will be a rotation matrix but if any matrix is not satisfying that condition that will not be a rotation matrix and they have asked about to not represent a rotation matrix so i think option d when you are going to check for the orthogonal matrix condition it will not satisfy that particular condition and that is not even a rotation matrix next one this question has been asked in the gate 2019 exam the question is the pole of a of the function that is fz is equal to cot z at z is equal to 0 is so guys in this case you can do one thing you can write the cos z upon the sin z form if you don't know about the cot z uh, series expression directly when you will write the sin z you will be able to write it as z minus z cube upon factorial 3 and so on too you can take z common you will be able to get 1 minus z square upon factorial 3 and so on too this is the denominator part okay so this is only the denominator part here z is equal to 0 is what it is a simple pole we can observe and we can see it is a simple pole but still if you are not sure about it you can do one more thing you can find the residue at this particular pole if residue will be infinite value that means your assumption or what you were considering that it is a simple pole can be wrong but if it is giving you the residue by using the simple pole residue formula it's a finite value that means you can be right so you can even check it in this way and here with the expression even we can observe it directly so it is a simple pole next let's talk about the next question that is from the contour integration part this question has also been asked in the gate 2019 exam in this case the integration limits have been given minus infinity to plus infinity whenever we are going to have this case or sine and cos are present here in that case what we will do we will write it as real part of e to the power iota kx x square plus a square okay dx when you will just find the pole okay uh, like you are going to equate the x square plus a square with zero you will be able to get the pole that will be minus a square you will have there so you will get x is equal to plus minus iota a now since here the limits of integration are minus infinity to plus infinity just consider the uh, pole lying in the upper half of the complex plane or on the purely real axis okay so only plus iota a you have to consider in this case and you will have to see what is the order of this pole that is order one when it is order one pole in that case you will have to find the residue for the order one pole okay once you will find that residue now just by using the formula that is 2 pi iota into sum of residue you can get your final answer which will match with option a to find the residue for a simple pole you can use any of the formula you can even use this one that is limit z tends to iota a z minus iota a fz which will be e to the power iota kx upon the denominator part i can write if i am considering it in terms of z i have to consider everything in terms of z then so if you are considering everything in terms of x that's up to you you can write that part 
Now here from the final answer whatever you will get just the real part will be your final answer and that will match with this particular expression. Now next question has been asked in the gate 2018 exam. The eigenvalues of a Hermitian matrix are all. What is the condition? They should be real. Okay, real and positive, there is no such type of condition, only real and that is the right answer. This is a concept based question you can say. Next question is from the differential equation part. The first step to solve any differential equation based question is that we should be able to identify the order of the differential equation and the type of the differential equation given to us. It is a second order differential equation with and the homogeneous one because the right hand side is zero. For any such type of equation, we will firstly write the auxiliary equation by considering that d by dx, d by dx equal to m. So you will get the auxiliary equation by considering it in this way that is m squared minus 2m plus 1 into fx. You can even write y in place of fx if you want. Okay, we remove fx from here, fx from here. Now just factorize it. You will get some values of m. Depending on this thing, whether m is real or equal, m is real or unequal, m is complex number like or they are complex conjugate of each other, you will write the final equation. Here you can see you can write it as m minus 1 whole square. Why? Because it will give you a square plus b square minus 2ab. So this is the same equation and from here you are getting m is equal to 1 comma 1, which are real and equal. For the real and equal case, the equation will be c1 plus c2x e to the power mx. So that's going to be uh, m is 1 here, so e to the power x. This will be the value of y or the fx you are going to get. Once you have got it now as per the boundary conditions given to you, just uh, get the values of the constants. Once you will get them, you will get the final expression of fx after putting the constants values and finally at place of x you can put 0 0.5 and that's how you will be able to get your final answer. I hope it will be clear but if there will be any doubt anywhere you will have you can mention it in the comments. Next question is again from the contour integration part and has been asked in the gate 2018 exam. In this question they have given us a contour and they want us to find the integration over this contour. Now this is a, an equation of the contour having the center at 1.5 and the radius 1 unit. So it will be like this 1.5 and radius 1 unit means 0 0.5 here and 2.5 here. Done because 1, 1. Okay. Now in this case if we are going to find the poles first you will get z is equal to plus minus 2. Once you are getting the poles z is equal to plus minus 2. See which pole will be existing within this contour. Only the plus 2 will be existing and minus 2 will be somewhere this side so it is not within the contour you don't need to consider it only consider the plus 2 pole what is the order of the pole that is 1 now find the residue for the order 1 pole by using any of the formula you can even use this one that is limit z tends to 2 z minus 2 fz fz is 5z cube plus 3z square upon z minus 2 into z plus 2 simplify this part put z is equal to 2 and you will be able to get the residue in this way. Once you will get the residue, the final expression will be 2 pi iota into sum of residue. Now put the value of pi that will be 3.14 and multiply and you can get the final answer like 81.64 and that will be your final answer. Iota you don't need to write in this case. Okay, so guys, this was the discussion about all these important questions from the gate exam and even they are going to be helpful for your upcoming CSIR net and gate both the exams. Also guys, now I'm going to let you know about something important which can help you to prepare for your upcoming gate and CSIR net exams. So that is the information related to the iconic subscription. As you all uh, will have some idea about the Unacademy iconic subscription. Now I'm just going to show you some of the slides in which all the information related to this subscription has been mentioned. You are going to get some many important, uh, like you can say, some very, very, very important benefits uh, for your upcoming exams preparation with the iconic subscription. As per a research, it has been found that 70% of the students struggle with the strategy and cons consistency part and 55% more chances of cracking the exam with expert guidance will increase. So when you will take the iconic subscription, you will get the experts guidance, you will get the personal coach, you will get the uh, 
लाइक स्टडी मटीरियल ओके फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन द अनलिमिटेड प्रैक्टिस यू विल बी एबल टू डू कस्टमाइज स्टडी प्लान विल बी अवेलेबल टू यू स्ट्रक्चर्ड स्केड्यूल विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू देन यू विल हैव द पर्सनलाइज आउट क्लियरिंग बूस्टर सेशंस एंड वर्कशॉप्स ऑल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन विल बी देयर एज वेल एस ओ पी एंड इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डू विद दिस सब्सक्रिप्शन ओके सो हेयर इज लाइक ऑल अबाउट द आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन लाइक एवरीथिंग हैज बीन मेन इन दिस पी डी एफ आई एम जस्ट गोन शो यू ऑल द स्लाइड्स सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टूगेदर कैन हेल्प यू अ लॉट टू प्रिपेयर वेरी वेल फॉर योर एग्जाम ओके एंड एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू योर एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन एवरी थिंग एवरी डाउट एवरी क्वेरी विल गेट क्लियर विद दिस आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन वेन एनी लर्नर विल टेक द आइकॉनिक सब्सक्रिप्शन लाइक दे विल गेट अ पर्सनल कोच अलॉटेड टू दैम ओके एंड दे कैन आस्क अबाउट एनी ऑफ देयर क्वेरीज ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन any time to their personal coach okay experts will be there those who will help you in all the areas of your preparation in every way like if you need the guidance related to your study plan related to um how do you think like where your preparation is right now at what level okay whether you are finding it or you are even considering it all right or not if you are having any issues you are not getting that like you are not satisfied with it then they will be there to help you all the time any time you can ask about your doubts and your queries so if you are interested you can take the an academy iconic subscription or an academy plus subscription okay so if you want to take an academy plus subscription then also you will get many benefits like the live classes by all the top educators as well as doubt clearing sessions are there in each and every course okay practice sessions will be available to you mock test will be available to you with the plus subscription but with the iconic subscription overall overall like uh, everything as i have shown you till now in the pdf that will be available to you every benefit everything okay related to that part so i hope everything will be clear to all of you and whenever you are going to take the subscription you can use and apply the referral code that is anshli arora as mentioned here no space in between is spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total an academy plus subscription amount thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end if you think this video is going to be helpful for you and can even be helpful for your friends you can share it with your friends too uh and uh, yeah if you are new on this channel you can subscribe the channel as well that is mission net physics exam thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you